Hey guys, some of the questions that I get asked pretty frequently are um, regarding buying property here in Mexico if you are a foreign investor from Canada or the States or any other um, any other country. So I kind of wanted to go over a lot of key points with you guys over the next few days, kind of take like a few videos that kind of explain the buying process and what you can be looking forward to um, because pretty much there are not very many restrictions to buying here in Mexico if you're a foreign investor, unless you are in a restricted zone. So I'm going to get into a little bit more about what is restricted zone and what does it take to purchase property if you are in one of those zones so come along and um, yeah you guys are going to learn something new today and let me know if you have any questions along the way reach out to me you can send me an email give me a phone call hit me up on my dms or send me a whatsapp text message okay so let's get into it Okay, so one of the things that you're going to run into if you're purchasing property here in Vallarta, if you are within um, 31 miles or about 50 kilometers from the coastline is you will purchase your property in a bank trust. The bank trust is called a Fedicomiso. These are 50 year renewable trusts where the bank is the trustee, you are the grantor of the trust. So that means that you can purchase the property in your own name, um, you can sell the property at any time, you completely handle the management of the property, the bank only acts as a trustee you also set your own beneficiary so that if something were to happen to you the very next person that you have on your beneficiary all they need to do is contact the agent contact the notary do a change and they automatically have the property um, in their name they bypass probate and other lengthy court costs so now you know what a feta camiso is that is the first step here um, of learning all about buying property here in Vallarta because we are along the coastline